Hi, I'm Matt Talbot, CEO of Breathe Parkour, and we're proud members of Sport Calgary. Okay, Matt, so tell us, what is this sport that you're so passionate about, parkour? Parkour is all about the art of movement. It's getting from point A to point B either as efficiently or as creatively as possible. Parkour started as a military movement uh, in parkour in the 1800s, actually. Wow. It was widely adopted in the military uh, for around World War I. It saw its first time outside of the military in the 80s when a guy named David Bell uh, yes. started to do it with uh, friends of his. And now it's evolved to the point, though, where you have this beautiful facility here, Breathe Parkour, that really is addressing, I guess, grassroots parkour? I would say yes, for sure. Um, this is taking what the first and second generations learned when, when they were training outdoors, all of the mistakes that they made in, in what can be a dangerous uh, environment to learn in, mm -hmm. um, taking them indoors, uh, systemizing them, bringing them into a safe environment so that you can learn and then take it back outside once you're a pro, once you're a master. And there is a name for people, I don't know if you knew this, that do parkour and it's Trasseur? Trasseur. Trasseur a? a? Trasseur Trasseur for the feminine version. Tell us about who is doing parkour in Calgary right now. Right now it's a broad spectrum of people doing parkour in Calgary. We have kids as young as six, and I believe our oldest participant was 63 this year. I enjoy the, the natural movement, learning about what my body can actually do. A lot of times in modern society, we're sitting, we're sitting when we drive, we sit in our office. Exercise, uh, we're told, is a long walk in the park, and I think that's gotten away from what, our, what we can really do with our bodies. Some of the biggest challenges for us have just been the public perception of parkour. And the misconception is that we have this astronomically high uh, injury rate. And parents are always surprised to find out that our injury rate is actually lower than a, than a team sport like hockey or football or, or rugby. We actually spoke to a child psychologist about this and it comes down to how naturally kids assess risk. When they play hockey, they're told that they're covered in armor and as long as they're wearing their helmet, they're gonna be fine. And so they stop assessing risk as soon as their helmet goes on. But when they come to our facilities, they see hard rubber, wood, metal, and their brains just start firing um, and they assess their risks. And so it's actually really positive for them to build those skills. For the longest time, it suffered from the same thing that, that skateboarding went through early in its heyday, where uh, practitioners or the sport itself was looked at as kind of a rebellious counterculture movement. And that's not what we are doing and that's not who we are. It's been a push to, to get the actual essence of parkour out there, introducing it in a positive light to as many people as possible. Tell me about your program here for the entry level parkour participant. Well, at Breathe Parkour, we have an eight-level system. So when somebody comes in our door for the first time, they start at level one. We take them through some of the fun stuff like the rolls and the falls, uh, which also correlate with safety. And what has been the response to the to the entry-level programs? It's been a great response. We we can't keep enough classes in. For kids, there are a number of ways to get started with Breathe Parkour. Our most popular is with what we call the Intro Pack, and it lets people try out four classes and some of our open gym without committing to a membership. Next, we have our spring camps, which are happening right now. After that, if you want to get involved with a camp, we have our, our summer camps running every week through July and August. And those are a great way of, of meeting other people that have been doing the sport at various levels. We'll take you through a whole bunch of different movements uh, in different levels. So you're not just confined to level one, you get to try some different cool stuff. And we mix it with activities to make it a lot more fun than just a, a skill-based activity. Oh, do this skill, do that skill. No, we put it into, into games and activities. So making it fun, which is so important for the little ones. And making it practical as well, like showing what you can do. We teach you the skill and then say, hey, there's this cool thing you can do with this skill. Yeah. Oh yeah, the, the kids love it. Okay, Matt, so someone watching this interview, here's the question. Why should they join Breathe Parkour? Could be for a number of reasons. I know for me, uh, what got me into parkour originally was that I had tried 
myriad of other sports, uh, team sports, individual sports, and nothing really stuck. I knew I needed to move. I knew I wanted to find a community and get healthy, mm -hmm. but nothing was really fitting. Uh, so that was a big thing for me. It was the great community, natural movements, uh, helped me focus my uh, efforts around my health, and it was just it was the right step for me. So it's accessible, it's for everybody, we all do it, and we inherently want to move. Absolutely. I think that's the really the, the key, isn't it? Get yeah. out of that subculture concepts, perhaps, and understand that this is a really neat, inclusive, accessible sport for everybody. Thank you, Matt. Thank you. It was lovely to meet you, and, and I'll, be, I'll be signing up soon. <laughs> right on. Since you said I was a natural, and you've never even seen me move. <laughs> 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 and if you would like to learn more about this sport or any other activity, just check out Sport Calgary's website at sportcalgary.ca.